Well, hello everyone, Lord of Flames here, and we're going to react to Mr. Bay Cougar's newest Halloween video that happened days ago, in which I should have reacted that too, because I should have reacted three of his new videos in Halloween. I mean, I should, but I don't have time, because I don't have the right time to record all of that, because since the premiere just happened at late hours, so it never gave me a chance to record to send all those because it while exporting videos takes hours or a minute for that to wait and same thing when you're to upload on YouTube if the network's getting hard time it's, it's get a little bit difficult to uh, get free videos uh, recorded and for a long video like this one like hours or 50 minutes uh, it takes, sir, it's been an issue with the screen recorder I'm using right now, which it makes my voice go to a different time of this video. Like, my voice is not Green sound like right this right Sally now. Sally Struthers. I'm uh, Patrick well. Ferguson, a.k.a. Mr. Betty Kruger, here on YouTube. Nice leather jacket. To my second episode of my hmm, new it show, reminds me Spirits of the Ghost Rider, the Marvel Ghost Rider. Here on S.O.S. Me and fellow Needles and Smiles, the Lost Tapes actor, Luke Bickham, go to haunted He's places the best. to do full paranormal investigations in our sleepy little town of Spokane, Washington. Second to I like how you said that to your town, Mr. Freddy Cougar. Yeah. like how you mentioned a lot for your, uh, uh, man, your own Needles and Smiles series, so or rather, the audio drama series. Do you remember last time we did this? Maybe it doesn't have the light on when it's recording. Uh, I'm pretty sure it did the whole time. I'm pretty sure it did, huh? Oh, you already gave me one, didn't I? Oh, that's right. Follow the steps here. Okay. Mini cop cam. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Even though I was, in fact, uh, recording this reaction video those days ago, that same day when it just released, when I was recording. Over there in the closet, find somewhere quiet. Cool. But uh, that didn't work at all due to the charger, which his laptop wasted all the power there, so quickly. So I gotta record right here. Well, let's see what our ghosts are gonna meet. Maybe Jim? I think that was the ghost I name. Take a moment to. Thank everyone who tuned in to our live premiere upload of the last episode. You're most welcome. Minnehaha Park, no doubt in my mind, is a very much a real-life horror movie. That hunt was so tense. I think that's why me and Luke were extra joking in that episode. Um, though, I absolutely loved watching live with everybody. <laughs> People's reactions and how scared everyone got was very, uh... Yeah. Well, on my end, entertaining. <laughs> I mean, what happened in the ending of your last uh, so episode again, was... Thank you all. ...something that we never saw. I'd like to read a couple comments from our previous upload. Mm. Carmen Cruz writes, Me, personally, I feel like ghost hunting shows always add too much music or sound effects. But I love this. It's really organic, and also funny. Well, thank you, Carmen. I, uh, use a little production value here on SOS, but hopefully not so much so that it takes away from the raw investigation. Hmm. Sometimes it might be difficult, like other, uh, ghost investigation up. shows do show a lot of music you know if I can get like just for entertainment something really but it doesn't work like that you only need the uh, sight 20 people if I can get 20 people to request a random nautical in the comments below then uh, as sure as you're born me and Luke Bickham will give it a try mm, interesting uh, So you two are splitting up or something? Hmm. You want the EMF or am I taking it? Tonight, we travel 
to a very different layout than Minnehaha. Mirabeau Point Park in Spokane Valley. Mm. Wait a minute. I was here a year ago. Oh, Eve. that was the one you did on Christmas. Yes, I went by myself because as I said in the last episode, people tell me they want to go on a ghost hunt. But very, very few uh, have ever come through. Luckily, there's my man Luke. I went to Mirabeau because of a little-known myth about a young woman named Sally who jumped off the bridge into the waterfall. Now, this fall uh, would rarely kill anyone, in my opinion, except that in this case, it was winter, and when poor Sally jumped, she hit the icy rocks below and broke her neck. Mm. At the same I imagine the scene what it looks like, and I'm going about the jumped, puke of that. I was pushed. I wear some pretty heavy-duty boots, so my balance is very, very stable. Well, you and do like wearing spring, boots a lot, so there you go. Slip on ice. I was pushed by something I couldn't see. Now, you would expect me to drop the camera and go screaming. And that'll be the no, end of the video, which no, never been uploaded. Here, but I have definitely pondered a time or two on what would have happened if I was a bit closer to that bridge's edge. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, now, now being in the alternate universe, if that truly did happen, this that video of yours wouldn't be uploaded, and nobody wouldn't care on what happened to you until they might find your body. So don't think of that idea, Mr. Big Cougar. That's kind of a scary way to think about it. Besides, this town of yours is really is haunting. Like all these places, all of us been living is still haunted. Oh, cool! There's a whole gazebo and everything. I mean, due to all those newspapers, all of those things back in the old years. Wow! It's still continuing. And what happens to those dead people who've been uh, haunting around these places without being rested? When I was reviewing all the footage from the investigation, I came upon when Luke went down by himself to the dock, which is below the bridge. Ooh. Now I will say Luke and I both had a couple of cigs with us. But cigarette smoke on the mini cop cam looks a very particular way. It goes straight down. Even a heavy intake uh, doesn't show up on the mini cop cam very visibly. So when a huge mass of fog rises from in front of Luke out of nowhere, I knew we had something a little creepy here. Maybe the ghost is right in front of you, just blowing the smoke. I don't know. But that is kind of interesting. Very, very interesting. I mean, that was a little bit shocked right there. I mean, you got your own newest sightings of the ghost. Just happened. <laughs> Interesting.
Hmm. What happens if... I mean, if Luke would have been under the bridge and Pacho would be on the top of the bridge. What will happen to that? Like, would the ghost will be like, uh, what to choose? What to choose? Patrick or Luke? Which one I should push? Cause that ghost could be the same one you would been mentioned. Sally. And you're back where it was. A sequel. And let's see what happens next. Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Those dots? Wait a minute, are... You mean those are the dots for effects of for the... For the ghost? Or... I mean, it looks like it is. Like how I meant... Like how I remember watching the Paranormal Activity 3. Where that scene with the night vision that has a train looking dot set detects ghosts around you. Something like that. Wait, what? Hmm, where, I don't know where's Luke. Oh, never mind. That's it. I truly really like how these two decide to make their own ghost sightings without just being like the way how similar to the show. We're exploring a little bit, shall we? Because it doesn't have to be like, nice. like it doesn't have to show that much music or sound effects stuff to make things look fake. They do this for real. They make things well, silent our way up. so they can let us hear what's going on. If there's a better one, I wouldn't know it. Hmm. Uh. I hear that train again. Mm. Let's hope my shoes don't fail me. I don't think they will. Then again, things are a little bit wet from moisture and but naturally slippery given oh. all the moss. Uh-oh. Well, just be careful. We are currently heading to the top of the waterfall to see if there's anything different up here. Well, be careful. I mean, you shouldn't have Patrick with you just in case if the ghost is behind just you. Where the waterfall is. Let's just see if we can get up there. Uh oh. And I really want to see the top of this waterfall, honestly. Well. In horror movies, don't be like those type of people who try to uh, be crazy to go to some places that are dangerous. That get themselves killed. So be careful. Well, there's a way over if I ever did see one. Someone uh, is trying to start a lock. Promise thing chain here. Hmm. Let's just put everything in our pockets for now so we can get over. EMS going off in my pocket. Ah. Yes, EMF detector. I know you're panicking. People have obviously been up here because there's plenty of broken glass. Yeah. Oh. And there is Patrick. There's the waterfall. Mm. 
very interesting. Hello, I see the lasers. <laughs> Now he's detecting ghosts. <clears throat> Don't get too well, close. Pretty much what happened uh, when I was over on the dock, which is like right uh, this way to me. Um, I was getting the feeling of something underneath the dock, and then when I was up on top of the waterfall, uh, I was getting the urge to jump, and... Don't you dare! Yeah, I do have depression and all that shit, but I wouldn't jump off anything. <laughs> but... Yeah, something was like urging me to jump off the waterfall, and then I think Sally's trying to make you do that. When I was walking Don't back around, let to her meet up with Patrick, do do that to you. Don't I let her force you to jump. I was getting the feeling of being followed. There's a path here, so obviously there was a way to get up here at one point. That's always nice. I wonder what's down here. Probably Don't. the rest of the pipe. Hmm. Which is strange. I wonder if it wraps around. I'm not sure how is it possible Back over for to uh, dear old Pep Pep. <laughs> what? Pep Pep. Pep Pep Patrick. <laughs> oh boy. I wonder how he reacted up hearing that. I mean, if he wouldn't know already. Is that concrete? Yeah, it's concrete. But anyways, um, how is it possible when there are ghosts around you that they haven't been uh, rested in peace to go to heaven or hell go. or whatnot, in which they never stop? It's like they always keep appearing around these places, haunting. Why is that? Uh, Not sure. <laughs> Doing something like insidious. Like those uh, souls or ghosts so good. still yep. don't want to just give up. They still want to keep coming back. I hope you're not hearing anything on my background. The danger of going around in the woods at night. There's a tendency Ooh, to fall this? every time. Are they? Yeah, there's, uh, there's a stationary mode where they're not moving. Yeah. It won't work. The only ones that will work right now are the My ones light's that been acting hella weird too. Oh yeah, yeah. Like every, I remember well, last episode. Well, you know how you barely press the button and it changes the modes. Yeah. From the other well, episode was that right uh, trying to take all I, your I battery out, like Sally the charger or whatnot, all down, and something like that. Ever since I did that, I swear, as I've been setting up here, I kept thinking you were coming around the corner because I was here. And nope, I was up there. <laughs> oh, I saw you eventually, and then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> But yeah, this thing, it won't be stationary now. Oh, oh, oh you got to I've tried Excellent. the buttons a hundred times, and it won't go back to just solid lasers. It was a stationary mode, but it won't work right now. I don't know why. It did work earlier today. I bought some lasers for the last episode, but never really got to use them. Mini Haha -ha is in a pretty dodgy neighborhood, so I really didn't feel like letting these lasers sit with the camera, I might add, and then find out they'd been stolen later. But Mirabeau, especially as it's getting colder, was basically just ours for the night. 
with the exception of a couple who were hanging out by the dock. They were nice, and uh, if you've seen the last episode of SOS, can you guess what I said to them? Hey, how's it going? Hi. Hi, good. Very good. <laughs> now, I had the chance to use the lasers. But there was an issue. The lasers were stuck on a strobe mode, like something you'd see at a party. And if you understand the concept of why a ghost hunter would use lasers in the first place, then you know that if you can't get the stationary mode to turn on, then you have to scrap the lasers entirely. Oh dear. Now you might think, oh, all right, this was just a cheap malfunction, but no. Uh -huh. The lasers were working before I didn't, we left. I didn't see anything like that. No, it's a, I think I'm seeing about the ghost. At the park. Stationary. And now we're back to look. Hmm. Tell you what, how about me and you go in the forest here in a second? Sounds good to me. Okay. Uh, we'll do the stand and whatnot. I'll take the regular stand. Alright. It's interesting up there though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's definitely a strange train. This was supposedly the spot though, man. This is where she flung herself off. Huh. And see now, at this height, oh, of course, that back wouldn't do Back to where it is. Now. It's just, it was near winter, and her neck yeah. at the bottom, yeah. yeah. The rails are sturdy. Yeah, it, it's fine, I mean, it's just, yeah, if you hit those... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. It can be fatal. Which is interesting, anything personality. Can, anything can be fatal. Story. See, even... I mean, um, Last winter, Did I remember we all hearing a story about a college student about her before who slept on ice she and hit his head fell? and died. So, or why she did that, if it was the accident, or she did it yep. forcefully. Sure. On why exactly I mean, she sure done that. I'm sure it, but you never know. True. I've had this thing since 2008, so... Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm sure I can get a new one, but... Right. 2008? I kind of like that I have it. Man! Is that a reusable out. tab? Is that what it is? I think so. There we go. That was in the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. You got it then? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then I just shut it like that. Nice. Perfect. Yep. Let me see the tab like that. Oh, ah, there we go. That's in count. Luckily, you have night vision, which is a good idea. I am hearing it. As that was happening, I got EMF, man. I'm trying to hear it during any ghost around. So you wanted to see under the dock, right? Put that puppy right there and we'll see. We can get pretty close. Watch your staff. Oh, wow. yeah, you yeah. Just shine that puppy over here, yeah. Okay. I don't know if I did say this last time, but it's very interesting Whoa, for people I thought I got a to just here. record their own horror films in a old place location that is mostly wasn't that haunted, which makes things like? more terrifying than know, just watching a movie, which is the same one? locations yeah. Yeah. that have been haunting for years, okay, and people way. recorded their own films in that locations. Which makes things Love terrifying, because <laughs> even Looks for like dehumanizers too <laughs> coming, uh, those locations they film was in fact haunted. It's making things yeah. much more terrifying. 
which made me think it's similar to an idea for the audio drama for the House of Jeff the Killer. After Jeffrey's dead, with all those people who died, their souls, their ghosts, they've been haunting around those plate, those locations. While the house, the Jeff the Killer, Salgo, the Humanizers, all those are all been filled with haunting spirits around the town, which is similar to this. I mean, I like. Now that's that's legit. I mean, Patrick. You did something interesting for having your own uh, audio drama or your films being uh, recorded in a haunted locations that's filled with ghosts and spirits, which what, makes things say? much more terrifying than the movie. Oh wow, that's weird. Damn, that goes back a little bit, don't it, under there? Wow, that goes all the way back. Hey, there's we like check a whole, There's like a grate down there. I'll keep the light in. Would you Wait, take a grate? We the what? Too, that's right. You take the camera for a second and just put it under if there. If it is a grave. Oh, oh, okay. I just accidentally almost about to push my light lamp. There's the gray the I light stand. about. And Stay. then it just goes back like that. There's, it goes deeper down this way, but like. It's interesting. Yeah, it's like a Anyways, grave but if it is a grave, <laughs> then why is it putting <laughs> under, yeah. under it? Because that'll be strange, you know? Or you're seeing something else. I was getting a weird feeling here at the gazebo. Yeah? Yeah. Oh shit, that's slick. Right. Yeah, I'm good. That was here. quick enough. You sit there, I'll sit here and I'll film me. Okay. Cool. Uh. Wish I brought gloves in this thing. Okay. Right? Yeah. Wait, you didn't have broad gloves? Imagine if and when we do a ghost hunt in the winter. Oh gosh. <laughs> Imagine you did that for I told you, while man, the snow was like coming down. I was breathing next to you, except no one was there. I mean, if anything's like many ha ha, spirits like you, buddy. <laughs> for real. Yeah. They like people who can make it easy for them to communicate. That's true. <laughs> that is true. And I. Fine. Hearing that train noise again. Are there any spirits here that would like to communicate with us? If so, you can use this device to communicate, or you can do something to me by taking the hat off or something. Whichever way you're able to. Please make yourself known. If you're trying, we can't hear you or see you. Would you please try harder? My name's Jim. I'm a ghost of haunted this place. And I'm the one who took Sally away. And I'm right behind you going to steal that precious hat of yours. Wait, what? Oh my god. They got a voice. Does this, the ghost voice, oh my goodness. I don't know that Sally's voice, if it is, that's epic. It's faint, but yeah. I mean, that's how ghosts do it exactly, right? They don't do it like loud or whatnot, make it look fancy. Speak, speak up. Doing nothing. But it seems like Lucas uh, truly ball. saw something. Behind you, yeah. Yeah, like this way. Like they did first heard it, but I told Luke just randomly if that was saw you, something. Can you do that again? In which I see Luke's reaction. 
he shot for what he was looking at, which I never know what he's actually looking at. If it's actually Sally, or something else. I'm not here to cause any trouble or harm anybody. If it looks like it is, if I am, it's just my demeanor. Yeah, I'm hearing small, small noises over there. I do think now, officially for his time. What? Up yeah. there, yeah. But like, we can get. Uh, we can eventually get up there. We'll yeah. We'll go around. We'll go with the forest and walk around right up there. We'll go that way. Which way? Uh, this way. We'll just go. Okay. Here again. That wasn't the way we came up, but. Was it? No. Uh, It's okay, we've got monster in the system, we'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, there's, li there's little to no evidence of who exactly she was. Yeah. Could be anything. Very true. She's just a, you know, maybe 18, 19 year old teenager in the hour, that's about it. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So you two don't know about her either? Uh, hmm. I, I mean, they wouldn't have those uh, old newspapers or yeah. uh, those those, those websites of news stuff. I mean, nice. there could be some list of histories, all of those things have been uploaded those years ago. I mean, there could have been something about that if there's actually something about the bridge or dock you're at. Huh. Yeah, see, this was the original but if not... It's like they kept it a secret. Yeah. Who knows? Interesting. That's where you came down, huh? Huh? That's where you came down, right? Yeah. Around this area. Okay. Can it see me decently? Yes. <clears throat> Uh, see what's going on for Sally, Dutch. I was uh, I was here a year ago. I uh, might look a little different, but hopefully you can remember me. If so, I think you gave me a little push on that bridge over there. Could you? Wait, was that Luke's laugh or? Hey, you said you charged you us, right? Yes. It's already at a bar. Of course it is. <laughs> hmm. Is there anything you want to tell me and Luke? We are listening. Whoa, you heard that, right? Yeah. There was a car over there, but there was something after it. I thought I heard breathing next to you. On like, the side? Yeah. Okay. Well, not directly next to you, but kind of... I mean, just heard it again. Behind me in the forest? Yeah. Well, as a dwarf said to Snow White, hi ho. <laughs> hi ho, hi ho, off to Satan we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I must go down the woods! I was watching Gremlins the other day. <laughs> I love Gremlins. Oh, hell yes. I met folks, someone the other day uh, who said they were terrified of Gremlins. I guess back on noise this I'm like, wow, how can you be siblings. scared of that so movie? That yeah, was like in my diapers, like, jamming <laughs> out to Gremlins, like, Argh. Hell yeah. This goes up to the waterfall.
Watch your footing. I did fall around here somewhere. I tell you to watch your step, Luke. Yep. It's all moisture and rocks, and that's never good, especially with moss and shit. Yeah, it's true. Going down that way is where I fell, I think. A train noise again. The waterfall is up here more. Yeah, we can go around. Unless... Yeah, we can go around. It's kind of a wall of rock right here. I was going to go over it, but... I didn't know if you wanted to or not. <laughs> There's the fence, which means, ha. Dude, I thought I was seeing what you were seeing earlier. Yeah? Just something peeking. Yeah. But there's nothing. What? I thought I saw some, and of course, right when I think I saw some go up there, the battery oh, dies shit. completely. What the hell was that? I don't Wait, know. It could be an animal, I'm not sure. Did you hear it at all? No, I didn't hear shit. Right, that was soundless. Shit. Fucking, that's some predator shit right there, dude. Like, <laughs> just climbs whatever it wants <laughs> without making it a single make a sound. Of, like, what the hell? Sound. <laughs> <laughs> I barely survived. I don't know about it. <laughs> yeah. I think it'll be okay. Unless it's one of the um, sport hunters, then we might have a problem. But if it's just a regular predator just kind of looking for shit. Yeah. Another warrior, right? Oh yeah. But none of us are really threatening enough, I don't think, so I think we'll be okay. <laughs> like Jeff would be terrifying. Right? Oh yeah, there's definitely something playing with us. I can tell by now. Yeah. Like that. That's. For me, it was kind of a short one. Like it was like a, like a smaller girl. Like maybe about this height. So I, I see something up there, man. Uh, I've been seeing something that's, that's I guess, taller than you, which is strange. concerning. That is concerning. There's only, I mean, there's a lot of people that are taller than me, but I don't think they'd be in the woods with us right now. No. I don't think so. Uh -uh. I mean, yeah, maybe a vagrant, but we would have heard him somewhere around that bit. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just checking Unless, my course because I don't know why I'm good. <laughs> or a Wendigo or whatever else. Wendigo. Yeah. Wendigo. Oh, Wendigo. Oh, that was your boots. I thought something dropped. No. Yep. Cool. Boom. Rock is a little wobbly. Oh, yeah. There are rocks like that kind of everywhere here. And it did it again. Flashlight, quit that. It's rude. Oh, you mean Sally? Sally is like messing up your flashlight. These are new batteries in here. Yep. You want to hold this for me? There's probably an easier way around, but this is the only one I know of. We try to get a shot, and uh, I just walked it back from here. Yeah. Okay. Cleaning up again. Mm 
Oh wait, you're near the waterfall? I swear I heard something. That... That type of noise. That's kind of creepy. I mean... Did you That's else... ominous. You, you all heard that, right? The... Ch, ch, ch well, sound. It's not the... Friday the 13th sound. I was just kind of standing there. Not that. It's just... And... Ch, I don't know if ch, I'm just hearing shit or not, but it sounds like I'm hearing whispering coming from the water. From the water? Like, as the water is coming out of the pipes. Yeah. Where the waterfall is, like, it sounds like people talking. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think about that, because I remember so watching, I watching something that reminds me of it. See if we can I think. Whisper. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. You hold your drink I was no, definitely they're... an animal. I couldn't tell if it was either a dog barking or a turkey. <laughs> Just now. Now there were people walking close, but I couldn't hear them over the fog. Did you see them? No. They were on the left here, just like a couple taking a, a, a stroll. Oh, cool. But it's funny, they looked up at us with the lights, and I could just kind of, you know, I could hear them, but I could just kind of see their attitude like, nope. <laughs> they walked right. I just thought we were the wet bandits. <laughs> <laughs> the wet bandits. <laughs> Good reference. Yeah. You come up this way, right? Uh, yeah. You want to go around in the forest that way. I came up this way. Okay. This way's faster to the dock, anyways. Cool. Which way is here? Okay, I see. Yeah, just keep going straight. Just watch your footing, of course. Now I kind of climbed up here, but it was a, uh, it wasn't that bad. Okay. Well, I used to climb uh, uh, mountains in Arizona, man. Those, I think, were maybe the most extreme. <laughs> awesome. It was just straight up, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was cool. I, I got to show you a picture. Me and my buddy uh, climbed straight up, and we got in this nook right at the top. Yeah. And we smoked a bowl up there. <laughs> Pretty nice. That's perfect. Oh, hell yeah. Me and my buddy, before we moved to Michigan, Ken, yeah. um, we would go up to Fish Lake and walk along the lake where the cliffs are and shit, and we'd find different places to smoke. <laughs> it was cool. awesome. Oh, no. You too. Come on. That's right. right. Right looks more smooth. You know, it's a bad idea to do those stuff, you know? Hell, I've been taking hikes with Larry these days, man. Yeah? Yeah. 20,000 steps. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Well, he becomes Master Yoda, man. Like, you know, he's just a slow moving guy. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he just beats you. Know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you are the most. I use the force. Uh -huh. people down here, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's all right. I'm not worried about it. We're going to crazy junkies or some shit. And we're good. And where are you next? Watch them just plowing. You know Jason's going to get you. Oh, you're back in the <laughs> same area. Howdy. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Hi. Good. Very good. How those two again? That's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. I think. Activity and a <laughs> I love that first one. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Oh, yeah. 
I get paranoid as a kid since I was already a ghost hunter. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. That's a mosquito hawk. What did it say? It's a mosquito hawk. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just kind of weirdly crawling sideways. <laughs> Better bring a bug spray. One second. I don't hear anything but the waters. That's not good. Wait, monster. Doing these investigations. Wait a minute. Does that mean a lot on how Sally died from falling? I mean the that she down. didn't fall. And your body is telling you to prepare. Is the monster to push her, point. voice her, or so possess her and put her down there? Energy drinks. And I might have killed mine off uh, pretty fast, but uh, oh, all right. Luke had that. his through the entire. Higher venture. Nearing the end of the investigation, Luke left his monster drink on a bench on the bridge. We went up this uh, hill, just a short distance away, and we heard that can of monster knock over, rushing back, and boy oh boy, I mean rushing down that hill. We found the can perfectly still, right where Luke left it. Except, there was a straight line of monster drink pointing forwards on the bridge floor. What? No way! So we're wrapping up, waiting for our ride to arrive. And what do I find behind some fairly large boulders? A man-made cave. Now I came to find out later, from Grandpa Jarvis from Zalgo, a creepypasta movie, or, as he's known in the real world, Larry Mace, is that a long time ago, Mirabeau used to be a small zoo. It was called Walk in the Wild Zoo Spokane. The idea was that people could be walking and doing some mild hiking and then get to see these 
fantastic animals in these very minimalistic caves and cages. Now even though this is a really neat idea, sadly it hasn't been a zoo for a dog's age. But the man-made caves are still there. And when I saw this one before me, you know I had to get in there. Oh no. What? what, what? That's what it looks like? Interesting. Well, we've learned tonight that yes, every park in Spokane. You is could use that cave for your films or something. And doing a full paranormal investigation in October on Bella Lugosi's birthday, nonetheless. Certainly provided interesting and rather eerie results. From a possible girl spirit to a changing shadow. You can bet me and Luke will be coming back to Mirabeau Point Park in the future. Remember to give your own feedback in the comments below. Do we have a haunting here in Spokane? Yes. Or was it all just the wind? Thank you for joining us here on Spirits of Spokane. <laughs> and the next time you're walking alone at a park at night, I wonder if anything will try and make contact with you. I'm Patrick Ferguson. Take care. <laughs> Good one, Patrick. Good one. Oh man, that was awesome. And that's what the waterfall looks like when Luke was right up there. And Patrick was at the, the dock area, or the bridge. And who knows, since they said that she died in the winter year, probably they may come back in the winter instead, if they might see some problems, if that could have some strange effects. Aww. Aww. You have your new ghost sightings. That's cute. Very, very cute. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this reaction video, and Patrick, I can't wait to see more of your ghost sightings, your ghost hunting investigation videos, because that line, the monster, of course, I first thought it was about that Sally die because of a monster push her, or the monster possess her body and fall to the lake. I thought about that, but it was the monster drink. But seeing that photo, it was like, what the, what? But anyways, I can't wait for episode 3 if this episode 3 is going to be at winter year because that story about her have some effects. If it could be, it could work. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. This is the Lord of Flames here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.